But I'd like to talk to you this morning about a, a kind of a controversial, perhaps a controversial subject, and that is, is it safe to travel right now during, uh, with the pandemic going on? Uh, I guess my first answer would be no, and we've chosen not to travel in the traditional sense of the way we've traveled throughout our entire marriage, uh, with my wife being from Scotland and with her family living there, every summer we would go to Scotland to spend time with her parents. And um, her parents have both passed away, but she still has a sister and lots of cousins uh, there in, uh, cousins and other relatives there in Scotland. And um, <clears throat> we were not doing any kind of flying. We're not flying anywhere during this pandemic. We haven't been on an airplane at all during the pandemic. And, uh, and so we're, we're not traveling in the traditional sense that we uh, normally travel with. Um, and um, I'm on a, I serve on a board for the state of Texas uh, related to my profession. And we normally have quarterly meeting. We meet four times a year in Austin, uh, and that involves usually we, I mean, it's only a three and a half hour drive to Austin. So we have always driven to that meeting and then stay in hotels. Uh, but those meetings have all been canceled during the, I mean, the, the in-person meetings have been canceled during the pandemic. And uh, we do those online. Uh, through Zoom and that sort of thing. Uh, so we're not doing that kind of travel. Most of our traveling that we're used to, we have not done during the pandemic. We wanna be safe uh, and, vol and uh, follow all the, the CDC guidelines and all that. And, and uh, we've tried to do that as closely as we can. Um, what may confuse some people uh, on this channel is that I've posted a few little travel videos, um, but they're not travel in the traditional sense that that we've always done. These are day trips where we will go, uh, usually usually about an hour to an hour and a half, sometimes two or three hours, but try, trying to get outside of Dallas. Try not to go more than about an hour and a half, but try to get away from the congestion of of the city area and get out more to the to the country areas and a lot of that is is we enjoy just the drive itself you know say an hour and a half there an hour and a half back that's three hours on the road uh just enjoying the countryside and and uh, and the scenery along the way and uh, then we'll stop usually and walk around a little town square area, but we are definitely observing social distancing and, um, and you know, if we go in a, a little shop or anything, we wear uh, our masks and, and usually gloves too. Like if we're going to go uh, in a little shop to buy something, we'll wear masks and gloves, uh, pick up what we need to and get back outside uh, uh, you know, we social distance and observe all the, all the guidelines. Uh, that's not, you don't see our mask and gloves necessarily in, in the little videos that we've posted. But I'm addressing this because I think by posting some of the little day trips, it may have given people the wrong impression that we're not taking the pandemic seriously. And that's not true at all. I'm a healthcare provider and, uh, my office was never closed as a healthcare provider. My office was not closed during the pandemic. Uh, I was, I've been going in every day in Dallas. My office is in Dallas and Dallas is a very populated area and one in an area that's been hit pretty hard by the pandemic. So in the office, we're observing all, all the guidelines We're cleaning constantly, uh, sterilizing, cleaning. We've got plexiglass up at the reception counters uh, and 
we put plexiglass up in several places in, in the office and, and we're all wearing masks and, and gloves most of the time. And, um, you know, I'm used to dealing with uh, all of the, uh, all the sanitary guidelines and precautions uh, that go along with this pandemic. And for me, uh, physically and psychologically, after being in the office five days a week, it's, it's, very, uh, it's very helpful for me to be able to get away from that rat race and, and get out where, to areas where it's not so densely populated and um, breathe some fresh air and get some sunshine. In my office, you know, I'm not getting any sunshine day in, day out. In fact, in, a, uh, in an eye care office, in an optometry office, the exam rooms have no windows. <laughs> You're in a small, dark room uh, day after day, 40 hours a week. And so for me, it's very healing to get out into the sunshine and the fresh air and, and get away from, uh, you know, the densely populated area. Now, are we being dangerous? Are we taking the virus to these small areas that we go to? That's something that's definitely uh, crossed my mind. Well, neither, neither one of us have been sick or had any symptoms or anything, and um, and, but we could still be carriers, I guess, but we've been extremely careful. We have virtually zero contact with human beings. We're, when we make these little trips, we, uh, like I say, if we're going to go in somewhere, we're both wearing masks and gloves, and as soon as we come out of there, we take the gloves off and dispose of them. Uh, we put new gloves on before we enter a place and then dispose of them as soon as we come out and uh, we're being very very safe but remember we're, we're not spending the night anywhere we're uh, we're usually going someplace that we can take our little dog Sophie with us and um, <clears throat> we'll go there you know spend an hour and a half driving there maybe spend two hours three tops at the place we're going to uh, and then turn around and come back home uh, so uh, we're definitely not traveling in the traditional sense that we were always used to. When we would go to Scotland, we were on three different flights and usually take about 23 hours from the time we left home till we arrived on the island in Scotland uh, where Isabel's family was at. And um, again, that was three different flights, three different airports. Uh, uh, and we, you know, we're not doing anything remotely close to that and we won't until um, until this pandemic is quieted way down and and it seems like it's safe to travel again um, so in one sense we're not traveling not and we used to go on cruises too our kids really enjoy going going on cruises and so we used to take some cruises as a family of four and of course we're not doing any of that during a pandemic so we're not doing our typical traveling. We're being safe, and I'm very familiar with uh, the uh, CDC guidelines and follow them as closely as possible. And um, if I catch the virus, it'd be more likely that I catch it going to work every day than um, than these little weekend trips we we go on uh, and. So I've, I felt like it was important to address this because I think some people have gotten the wrong impression when they see me post uh, little videos of some of the the day trips uh, that we go on. They probably think that we're being real reckless. Uh, and honestly, knowing what I know about what we do and what we don't do, we're being as safe as we possibly can. And... Um, and so I just wanted to reassure everyone of that. And um, But if it becomes clear that people are not interested in seeing my posts about the little day trips, which it seems like there's not very much interest in it. There's some of them I've, I've gone ahead and taken down from the channel um, <clears throat> because it 
t nobody's watching them, and 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 I I get the feeling that that it may be a turn off to some people thinking that we're being reckless, but we're not being reckless at all and uh, being extremely safe. And some of the uh, two or three of the videos I put up uh, were of trips that we had taken before the pandemic ever started. And uh, they were more of a slideshow of photographs we had taken before I ever knew that I was gonna have a YouTube channel. And I put those up like a Fredericksburg. That was actually a compilation of two separate trips that we had made to Fredericksburg. Um, and they were just kind of a slideshow of photos with me talking over them. But those, all of those pictures were taken on two separate trips long before the uh, pandemic ever started. And, uh, and that was true of a couple of others that we posted. Um, but the ones that have, the little day trips that we've done during the pandemic were also, uh, you know, we were being as safe as we possibly could. Um, probably the most, maybe the most confusing one was the 4th of July trip we made two weeks ago to Granbury uh, because there are some camera angles and stuff that show people on a beach area and it looks like they're not social distancing. Um, from our vantage point as we walked around, you know, some of them may have not been all that safe, but we were keeping our distance from all of them. Uh, we observed all the safety guidelines our, for ourselves while we were there. Some of those people on the beach made up, but some of the, the large groups you saw gathered there on the beach were families. You know, they were sitting together as a family of five or six people. Um, and, you know, and those groups were scattered out on the beach and those groups were at least six, probably 10 feet apart. But again, you know, I can't answer for what they were doing, but we were being very safe. We were filming from a distance uh, of, of the, the beach and all, just trying to give people an idea of what a beautiful town Granbury is and the lake Granbury there and all. But uh, I've got a feeling that may have given some people the wrong impression that we weren't taking the pandemic seriously. And that's nothing could be further from the truth. Uh, we know people who've gotten the virus and struggle with it. And, um, and like I say, I'm a healthcare provider and deal with it every day, all every day right through the, the pandemic for the past four and a half or coming on five months, I guess, you know, I've had to go into work five days a week and, and uh, mask up and glove up and uh, alter my office with plexiglass everywhere and, and tape on the floor six feet apart showing people where to stand. And we've observed all the guidelines. We take it very seriously. And um, I'm going to go ahead and post some of our, put some of our little day trips back up and, but I hope that you'll understand that we take uh, this current situation seriously, <clears throat> but that I also feel it, it's healthy to get away from the big city uh, when I have a chance to and not spread the pandemic from the big city to these small areas. Uh, I'm careful to, to glove up and mask up so that I'm not a threat to the uh, to the areas that we visit, uh, but um, for me, it's healthy to get some fresh air and sunshine and and get get away from the rat race of the big city. And I hope you'll understand that. Thank you.